hello beautiful people you are welcome back to another interesting online tutorial my name is grace today we are going to be making a short kimono gown an overlap kimono gown right now i'll be working i'm working with 1.5 years of chiron fabric so i'm going to go ahead and take the length for my for the gown the length is going to be 30 right i have 31 here the remaining one is going to be for the hemming allowance then i will go ahead and take 21 21 this way can you see then i mark then the half inch there i will use it for the sewing allowance so then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take 12 12 inches for the body i don't want the body to be too tight i want it to be a bit wider and actually kimono dresses are not to be tight they are a free sizes dress that fits her so it's not meant to be tight so i'm taking the 12 right now 12 as you can see so from the upper part i'm going to take 10 inches 10 inches for the opening of the hand 10 inches right here i'm taking it 10 inches for the opening of the hand then I'm going to take a ruler to just connect it to the 12 that I measured earlier just to make it a straight line just to make a straight line around there the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to take that 12 to the hem part as well then increase it to be 14 because i don't want it to be just straight i want it to have that i want it to go out a bit at the hem so i'm connecting it from there to the hem line to the 14 i have at the hem 14 is okay like i said earlier this dress is a size is a free size for her you can make yours to be exact you can follow the same measurements and you are good to go so right now i'm going i'm, I'm trying to blend the ham hole that place shouldn't be sharp it's not something that should be sharp it should be carved out a bit just carved out we can't leave it that way and just cut it like that no so i'm blending it to the body the hand is going to be blended to the body as you see me then i'll go ahead and cut it from the hem to the hand the next thing i'm going to do is to take the measurement for the neck the neckline the width is going to be three then the depth of three well the the new the the width rather i'm likely to still increase this to be 3.5 but right now i've taken three by three then i will now go ahead and take the 3.5 i said earlier i increase it to be 3.5 as you can see then from there from that point i will take 10 i will take 10 10 inches 10 inches is okay for the front neckline which is going to be v then connect it to the 3.5 i have for the width this is 10 by 3.5 the front is 10 so i'll go ahead and shape the back neckline you can just come down by one inch is okay just curve it the way i'm covering it then i will 
cut it out i will cut the back neckline first first thing is to cut the neck the back neck first the way you see me doing right now so once i do that then one can now i can now go ahead and take the and cut the front but not right now so i've cut the i've cut it out there i'm trying to notch the middle just to find the balance there then at the hem as well i will notch it just to find the mid part the middle line is very important to notch for the balance line so as you can see i'm trying to arrange it it's very good to pin it so i want to cut the front neckline you know it's going to be cut separately so right now uh, i will pin the i will pin it at the side so so that it can be well laid so i'll go ahead and cut the front neckline which is 3.5 by 10 for the front and the front is meant to be open i'll cut it into two as you can see me do then once i'm done with that i will notch it a bit here right here i will notch it then the next thing i'm going to do is to trim off a bit from the neckline at the back a bit of 0 0.25 just to make that place the neckline a bit wider then i'm going to take off the pins yes i'm taking them off the next thing i'm going to do is to measure round from hem to hem in, uh, from the front i'll measure it round to determine the length of the band so i've gotten 78 then i'll cut the band to be 2.5 by 78 2.5 by 78 then i've done that i'll sew it for the with the hand and turn it this way once i it will turn this way then i'll do the same for the second hand for the band then the next thing i'm going to do i'll go ahead and join the band for the center front as well from the hem round to the other hem the band i'll sew it by 0 0.5 i've done that so as you can see i weave it round to make it look more more neater then i join it by the side with 0 points with 0 0.5 yes 0 0.5 then I didn't use the green band on the hand, I used the flower material for the band on the hand. Then I made a rope of 2.5 and sew 0 0.5 from it to remain two for the rope that we used to, to sew it, to tie it rather, to tie the center front at the waist. So. You can make it as long as you want then that's all for the tutorial subscribe comment like and share thank you